YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Jermaine Man Wingdals back again with another super official food review candy game that can hey listen man. Back at the Evergreen Inn, this time we have five people. We got the classic Aurori four. Hi. Got Bevo. And B. Good to be back. Yeah, it's been a while for B, and of course B fan. And wait a second, we have five, so that means our classic booth spot. <laughs> we couldn't get there, so we're at a table. But yeah, I'm just gonna review the food real quick. B fan ordered this thing on the menu called the catfish and eggs. You let me get a try. Let's get into it. it looks pretty good. Got some of the tartar sauce. Mmm, that's actually really good. I might order that next time. It's actually really crispy on the outside, but the fish is actually still juicy. I'd have to give that catfish a four and a half out of five. It's really good. Um, I'm gonna review my food real quick. Ordered the hamburger steak, which is one of my favorites actually. With hash browns and eggs. Got, I don't know if you saw the last review, but last time I got country potatoes, big mistake. Their hash browns are way better. Got the eggs poached this time. But you gotta try the steak, let's get into it. So what you got here is Swiss cheese and mushrooms on the hamburger steak. Um, I asked for medium rare. As you can see, it's almost well done, but it's the edge. So maybe it's, it'll get rare on the inside. Let's get into it. Mm. I just love the taste of melted cheese, caramelized onions, and sauteed mushrooms on top of a hamburger. Absolutely delicious. And I'll give it four out of five. I mean, the overall experience of this place is great. Hash browns, dip it in some ketchup. Mm. Last but not least, I'm gonna try this egg right here. Let's see how runny they made them. Or maybe they're hard. I think they're hard. Let's try it. Oh, uh, yeah. They're poached almost fully hard. As nice you can see, clean. there's a little bit of... It's not fully hard, but it's not runny at all. Let's get into it. Never get in. As I've said before, masterpiece. Love this place. Um, great portions. I'm gonna review the specific dish. This hamburger steak, I'll give it a four out of five. Really good. Though I do prefer the country fried steak, which is what V has. <laughs> but this one is pretty good too. But actually, I would say the best thing on the table here might actually be beef fans fried can food. That stuff is actually god tier. It's been your boy Wing Drops. Do you have any last words, cameraman? <laughs> hey, Bevo. Hey, Chris. How's it going? It's kind of bland just getting the most basic item on the menu. Yeah. But. You know what, I can eat anything. It's off the it's food. A lot of times they say the best way to judge a restaurant is by their most basic dish. Yeah. How are their cooking skills, you know, pretty good. Alright. Yeah. Give the fans what they want. 
Give the fans the what they want. We're in a restaurant. I'm not gonna Good point. Good point. Good point. Good point. We'll do. We'll do it later. We'll be back with more. Have Viva hold the camera and Chris will push them up under the table. No. No. We'll do it later. You'll see it at the end of this video. So make sure to like and subscribe. <laughs> and click on the bell for future videos. Right. Okay. It's do we need to do the sponsor spot? Sure. No, no, no. Later. Yeah, later. Any last words? We never see you too much, B. Now that you've moved. But. I don't exist. Yeah, I mean, Friday Fellows barely convene anymore, any, anyways. So when you're, <laughs> as you can see, that's CGI as a green screen right here. Oh, shoot, where'd he go? Oh, my God, all right, so we're done here. This video is sponsored by Blue Apron. I know we're in the restaurant, but it's still sponsored by Blue Apron. That's all. <laughs> Don't forget what Blue Apron get ready to cook meals. All portioned out to your door. Use the code WINGDROPS for 20% off on your next purchase of Blue Apron. It's been your boy WINGDROPS at Aurora 4, and we're done here. See you next time. <laughs> <laughs>